Hi friends, MD Vegan. <laughs> I make a cardamom date cashew milk today. So cashew milks are very nice uh, to make and to try something with the spices. Cardamom is a spice. And uh, here I prepared the vanilla. A teaspoon or so, about 10 of these pots. This is a pot, that's how they come usually. You see them in the pots, or you can also have powder, purchase the powder. This is ground. I opened the pots. Inside the pots, there are, I'll show you quickly. You open the pots like this, you on the sides. You can poke them open here a little bit. Let's see. Yo, there it goes. See, open. A little difficult. You could look inside. These are the the, the seeds inside of the pot. Let me try a little bit. Yeah, so you tear it apart. Usually that works. Uh, it's a little bit. See, like this, they are inside the black seeds. Sometimes they are um, light. These are the black ones. Can you see that here? And when you open them, get them out, then that's what they look like. This is the inside, the content of one of these pots. It can be large or small, they look different. These are the seeds, yeah. black little dots. And then I ground them uh, in a Mortar. I always have a mortar because when you take the powder, it is all already um, a little bit more less or less nutri nutritious, uh, um, and the seeds as well. So the best, the freshest they are. If you ground them yourself, you grind them yourself, and then you immediately they they have, have such a wonderful uh, fragrance that comes out. Very powerful fragrance. You immediately have a feeling for I do at least what they are like. That's like an, an oil that evaporates, so powerful, like from a lemon peel or so. Some people compare it to mint, I read. Uh, it's a very strong flavor. They say it's a sweet flavor. Well, it may be, but I wouldn't have said it's sweet. Uh, that is very nice. Cardamom is very nice. It's a spice for sweets and desserts. So very uh, often it's used there. I drink it always, every day, I have a lot of cardamom uh, in my kitchen. I drink it in my black tea. I put it in the tea together with ginger. That's a classic chai recipe from India. Indian families, they have their own chai recipes, what kind of spices go in. Uh, the one I use is um, just ginger and cardamom. Yeah. And then I put some plant milk on top of the black tea and so forth. There's a video I show you. But uh, it's not about the tea today, it's about the cardamom. And um, it is used in teas and coffees all over the world. Uh, cardamom is everywhere now. The Arab people use it, for example, in coffees all the time, in Morocco too. And then the Indians, they use it in the black tea, of course. And they say, I have once heard a um, lecture from Ayurvedic doctor. Uh, he was, she was both West medicine doctor and uh, was um, studying Ayurveda with Indian professionals. So she knew a lot, she knows a lot, still there. And she tells us that uh, they use this Indian, the Indians use that traditionally, um, to get the bad stuffs out of um, the coffee, for example, the tea. Uh, when you drink black tea, then you have side effects. There are benefits, of course, of the tea and the coffee, and there are side effects. You don't like, for example, you get nervous uh, stomach or so, it attacks the stomach, the roast, the roast from the calf coffee beans, and so these kind of things. Um, and when you put a cardamom and ginger into that, cardamom here in this case, these, uh, these side effects go away. It has a very uh, clear effect on me. I try it without. It's such a difference. And it has a nice strong flavor. When I looked it up, they say the health benefits are various. There are lots of health benefits of cardamom. They say it's antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, that when a, uh, a foreign a substance enters the body, the body reacts with inflammation. 
tries to get it out. Anti-inflammatory they are, very important, and um, they help against cancer. So it's a very powerful spice. Spices, by the way, together with um, um, herbs, are the second healthiest food. When you make a list, the dark leafy greens are first, then spices and herbs, and then the fruit, and so forth. So that's a very good thing to use spices. And uh, you cashew milk, that's how I began my little discourse here. <laughs> Cashews are uh, very easy to, to, um, to check what to do with the cardamom, how it works, what it tastes like and so, because the cashews, you have a cup of cashews, they are kind of neutral nuts. Uh, they are, have no brown peel as you can see. Uh, that means I can blend them just with water and have a cashew milk. I don't need to filter it. I have made milks with cardamom and other spices, almonds that need to filter that because the almonds have a brown peel and so you have to filter, otherwise it is coarse. You don't really like it. Or the other way is uh, without filtering you can use almonds with bananas together and the banana have a lot of fiber and they take away the coarseness from the brown skin of the nuts. But here there's no need with the cashews. I just have one cup cashews. Um, and I put um, dates into it. Um, I have here seven dates just to try some. I mean, that's totally up to you if you want to sweeten it at all. But I, I think it would be nice to have sweetness together with cardamom. Because when I drink cardamom, it's, it's always with sweet. <laughs> I have a memory for that because of this um, the desserts uh, that I know. You know I have tried that before, but I use cardamom in different ways. The Indian they put it in curries, and it's it's uh, everywhere. It's, um, I would compare it rather to pepper. You know, pepper is different, but it's also super healthy. But cardamom, I always compare that a little bit to that. Doesn't matter. Uh, cardamom is an amazing spice, very healthy, and um, let's try how it works. And a simple recipe: just the cashew milk with the dates to sweeten it up. Uh, and then the cardamom, a teaspoon or so. I have 10 pots. I have 10 pots or so opened ground and then I have about a teaspoon of the powder. So just to know. But as I said, that is uh, just a um, just, um, uh, suggestion. Uh, try that now for the first time. I could uh, other recipes where I use ginger only as, an, as, a, as a, you know, a ginger cashew milk or uh, combine cashews um, with ginger and cardamom or cinnamon or so. There are many ways uh, to make these kind of milks, but I think it's easy and to find out what the cardamom itself, if I blend them a little bit more a neutral environment like the cashews and the dates, pretty neutral, really sweet and um, not much of it. The cashews are just creamy. They fat and that carries the flavors. That's a general um, quality of fat, um, nuts make milk yeah, because of the fat. They emulsify with the water and then you have that milk. That's the idea of, of making milk. <laughs> so the fat is important for that. And also the fat carries flavors. That's what they do, the fats, and that's what makes it so delicious. Yeah. So a very simple way uh, to get to the essence of the cardamom. Let's see where it works. And I begin with a small amount of water only. It's also something I want to tell you, a technical thing here. This is, by the way, my Rebo blend. That's a German blender, a high-speed blender, a second or third generation already. They always make new ones, um, optimize it, and so I did. But 12 years ago, they, they made this one. It's a guy I know. Uh, he's into raw food and uh, greens and wild greens. He knows all about blending. And he came out on the market, this new model, uh, when there was no other uh, great or big power blender in Germany available, all, all, only the American ones, yeah, the, the big well-known well brands. Uh, everybody wants to have them, of course, but this one is rivaling them and really it makes a good, uh, makes a good figure. It's more inexpensive, more powerful, uh, has a long warranty, and so, yeah, check it out, Rebo Blend. Can highly recommend it. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. It's only in Germany, I think. No, I don't know. Maybe it, 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 I don't know. So, Blender Dance, I try. So, um, I begin with a small amount of water, I want to say, because then I can um, um, easy, more easily blend the nuts and the dates. Uh, because when you get more water, um, the nuts and the dates, they swim high and the blades are downstairs, so to say, and 
they don't blend really, it takes longer. So with a small amount to begin, <coughs> and then I can add water after the first blend and so forth. So blender dance, let's, let's start. The first blending I usually do when I do not soak my nuts, so you can soak them, it is easier, of course. Uh, so the ditho soaker dates are all easier. And uh, But when I don't soak them, I make a first blending like this, so 30 seconds or so. That's the best for these blenders, uh, the working um, tune, because um, that's uh, good to save, um, to protect them a little bit, because they are powerful, a lot of power is in the uh, in the blades and everywhere, um, and so you can wear them out easily if you overuse it. And 30 minutes is a good time to moderate the use, and you have a longer life for these before you have to repair them. So uh, let's see. Now I know I've broken down the nuts and the dates, and I can taste it, and I can see: Do I want it more creamy or more runny, more, more cardamom, more sweetness? What do I want? Let's see. Let's taste it now. Ah, it looks nice. Yeah, it's a little bit thick. Well, I would like to have it more runny, maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's good. I can always add something, but let's taste it first. Mm. Oh, well, the sweetness has a perfect amount. And there comes the cardamom. It comes up like a flower, a bud opening. <laughs> Very nice. Um, so 10, 10 pots for this is good. And I know I blended one more time, the second blending. Um, it will be really nice and creamy and has a perfect texture because now the nuts are broken down to small pieces and they soak now in a little bit of warm milk cream because they're broken down and the blender makes it warm. The little, uh, the little particles begin to soak and get bigger. And they get a little bit bigger, um, and that goes quite quick because it is uh, already warm and broken down, and so they get a little bit bigger fast. And then I blend it again, the second blending, for a minute or so, and then they're really creamy, perfect texture. So I, I think it will be creamier yet as it, as, it, as it soaks and soaks on. So I will add a little bit of water. I don't need that much. So my measurement for, for plant milks was usually one cup or two cups of nuts or seeds and one liter of water. That was my usual measurement. And you have uh, one cup, so it is uh, usually for a liter or a half liter. It depends on how much, how thick I want it. Creamier one has two cups, that's a little bit uh, runnier, is a, uh, only one cup. So this is only. Um, it's now very thick because I have a half a liter and one cup. So that would be very thick, like, like one liter and two cups. Um, so I add a little bit more to make it a little bit more medium. I want to have the thick, very thick version, just a medium version. So one and a half cups or so, four liter. Should be right now uh, the measurement here. Yeah, it's, it's a 0.7 or so liter. I don't know. It's just. When you have only three ingredients, then the measurements are so obvious. There are a lot of cashews, dates, you can sweeten as much as you want, or as little as you want. There's no precise measurement is really uh, needed. And then, um, yeah, I mean, more or less cardamom a teaspoon. That sounds reasonable to me. Salt would be too much. We have salt, you wouldn't take a teaspoon of salt for this. That would be really <laughs> salty and very powerful. A cardamom, uh, a teaspoon, seems to be well. So let's see again. One more blender then, the second blending.
So by now, after the second blending, it should be really have the perfect texture. The nuts really broken down. It gets creamy, and it warms up a little bit too. It's also very really nice, warm nut milk. Oh, and also the spices they taste a little bit more intense when you have it warmed. Yeah, oh. so that looks great. Yes, the texture is nice now. It's runnier than before. I guess it's tasted. Let's check. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's more watery now. More water in it. Very fine. The cardamom is there. Uh, I don't want to have it a predominant. I want to have it just a little hit tinge of cardamom flavor. It's in there. Teaspoon is a lot. And in the in the cooking, um, they use not so much small amounts. Um, but I think it's a good amount, fair amount. It's it's very present, and uh, the uh, the flavor of of these spices in in these dishes, other than thawed and chili or so, they're very dominant. Are rather um, in the background. Yeah, they they rather create an environment, a space that is filled with this flavor, and. Very interesting, yeah. Um, so you could add more and more spice, and in the end, it would, it would be totally too much, overwhelmed, and you didn't even notice how it happened. Uh, um, but so I think a teaspoon is a nice amount. I show you what it looks like. You know, just pouring it, you see it's creamy, but runny also at the same time. It's a medium milk, and um, well, I'm looking forward to enjoying that. These plant milks are really wonderful snacks. Um, I don't drink them on itself by itself as is uh, so often. Uh, it's a like, a like a dessert, yeah. They're very rich and um, nuts are super healthy. Uh, that is interesting. They're raw nuts, for example, they don't make you fat at all. Yeah. <laughs> that is very something uh, people um, were surprised to find when they fed nuts to people and they didn't gain uh, weight, rather lost weight, over a long time. And handfuls of nuts every day, in addition to the regular diet, their regular, they did not gain weight. Why? There is so much calories and fat in the nuts, why don't they? And they figured there must be something in the nut that makes the cells burn faster, hot, hotter, so they burn more fat, more energy. And that's why they rather lose weight. And then there are all these um, super benefits for nuts, health benefits. They're very, very healthy for many purposes. That's why nuts are very recommended as a snack. So these milks here can be wonderful snacks, super healthy and delicious. And you can spice them, season them, make them sweet. I love that. But, you know, usually I drink water or teas. Very simple and you know, they are rich, of course. And um, uh, I use them for dressings too, or soups. I make a soup with cashew milk or other plant milks. Uh, wonderful. Uh, there are many great ways to use smoothies, many ways to use them. And, well, I ought to find out more about the cardamom and, and things like that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like, like my video, subscribe, MD Lead on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X.